Hi, my name is John and this is Business Update. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about how Ford's uh, foray into the electric vehicle uh, has some hiccups. Uh, in particular, their popular uh, SUVs, the Ford F-150, the electric version, uh, has brought some criticisms, uh, some safety issues in terms of obviously you know, I've been apprehensive in terms of, you know, adoption of electric vehicles because of the plethora of issues in terms of sustainability, being able to replace all combustible engine, meaning where are you going to get the different sources of ingredients to, to power up your vehicle? Uh, and then there's the issue of, you know, uh, batteries and fires never going well with one another. And take note, uh, we've encountered this with smartphones. If you remember the the, the the fire that caught fire with the Samsung tablet, uh, note, not tablet, uh, in an airplane, it's never a good deal. Imagine in a bigger scale with a bigger battery in a bigger vehicle. Uh, that's a recipe for disasters here. Now, obviously, uh, no vehicle is perfect, but obviously there has to be redundancies to protect the interests of the passengers here. And, you know, obviously, you know, companies are not doing their best to be able to do that because obviously in a collision or for any accident to occur in a combustible engine, there's uh, protections layered in and, you know, obviously f fuel, oil, uh, or gas on its own doesn't uh, ignite. But uh, when batteries, you know, lithium-ion batteries are are what, what do they call this i won't say disarranged but you know if they are in a not ideal temperature sudden collisions heat rises or drops you know could be disastrous for the passengers and even for the drivers themselves and here at cnbc.com it mentions that ford is suspending its electric f-150 lightning production for another week following a battery fire so ford is suspending its uh, production of the lightning uh, another because of the issue it resulted by catching fire which is never ideal here and it expected uh, said it's expected vehicle assembly to be down through at least a week because of engineers determined that the root cause of its issue and implementation changes to its production and obviously for all of its you know capabilities of its promise you know safety is always important especially if you're driving along the highway in roads where you don't only you know could harm yourself get injured or hurt other people or kill other people even worse which is you know until they can get it right that's why manufacturing vehicles is never an easy thing you can ask you know ford toyota if it's an easy uh, process of developing and you know staying in the game for several decades uh, or centuries uh, i think ford is reaching a, more than a century already here which is you know the safety i think is important it's not just all the bells and whistles of you know uh, automation in driving you know the assist technology you know having uh, ev vehicle well if it's considered environmental friendly which is kind of counter kind of ironic in terms of how they source those materials which i will not delve into which is you know uh which gives me pause in terms of thinking whether i should buy electric vehicles and obviously we've talked in the past regarding the the, the charging issues the infrastructure that is needed to power up those vehicles if it runs out of battery juices here and you know unless all of those things coalesce come together i think you know people will be apprehensive or it will take a longer time before people would consider you know adopting or you know fully replacing their, their combustible engine and i think toyota is on the right track you know betting on hybrid vehicles rather than just focusing on electric vehicles uh, as the way of the future here which is, I, do, I don't see it you know maybe in a, my lifetime that you know, electric vehicles will become more popular as the decades go by, but will it be able to supplant combustible engine here? Maybe not. I could be wrong, but only time can tell regarding this aspect here. But the question is, would you be interested in uh, buying an electric vehicle, especially here in our country, in the Philippines, where, you know, the inclement weather uh, is ideal, but with rains during the wet season the flooding could be spelled disastrous unless your vehicle is uh, tight tightly packed with uh, waterproof so that when it's submerged it doesn't 
<laughs> it doesn't deteriorate or you know destroys your vehicle as a whole here so uh, i don't think that's coming anytime soon here in our country tesla i, I could be wrong but for practical purposes and you know, obviously for developed countries like in the united states i mean uh in in, in canada in europe and in china you know it makes sense for those big markets but you know for them to be able to replicate or replace combustible engine it's i I, you know, I have a tough time seeing it that happening anytime soon anyway what do you think on, on this discussion here whether you know the rise of popularity car manufacturers are taking advantage of its trending upwards but you know there's still a lot of issues i think until that's settled you know it's not changing the way people view vehicles you know or combustible engine as the primary preferred mode of uh, vehicles to, to to go from one place to another here anyway that's it for this week come back again on wednesday for more business update as always i'll see you in the next one take care